This Anzac weekend, I'd like to continue with G.A. Stavart Kennedy's um, reflections from his book, The Hardest Part. In a time of war and terrible suffering, he explored what it means to do life with God and why it is worth believing in the suffering but triumphant God of love. During today's church service, we celebrated communion, a ritual Kennedy um, called the sacrament, a ritual to remember Jesus' body broken and his blood outpoured on the cross. Studdard Kennedy began his reflections on the sacrament by recounting the story of a man who had come to one of his communion services the morning before a particularly big battle. Kennedy couldn't remember him having come before and sadly he buried that man terribly mutilated in a shell hole three days later, a shell hole behind the lines. Kennedy wondered why the man had come that particular morning and what he had thought about the sacrament. He wondered if perhaps the corporal had thought he wasn't good enough to come to communion, or perhaps the corporal knew he'd done some things that were wrong and probably would continue doing those things. But Kennedy mused, was, if the man was up against it and facing death, so Maybe he dimly hoped that communion would somehow shield his body in the battle. Or was it because his mum or sweetheart would like to know that he had been to the service? As part of his reflections, Kennedy concluded that in and of itself, there is nothing magic or mechanical in going to the service of communion. The one thing that matters in the sacrament, as in everything, is God, he said. It is nothing unless it is a means of revealing God to human souls, whereby he comes to dwell in us and we in him. Kennedy went on to say, there is but one way to understand the sacrament, the way in which the first Christians understood it. First, they saw him. They beheld his glory, glory as of the only begotten Son of the Father. In his suffering manhood, they saw God and learned to love and worship him. Then when his body was taken away from them, they knew him in the breaking of bread. The sacrament was just Jesus Christ, and Jesus Christ was God. In him it began and in him it ended. That is the truth, sublimely simple. The sacrament is Christ. And Christ is God. He said that sharing together in communion means sharing the clear and shining vision of the suffering God as revealed in Jesus Christ. When people come to the service of the broken body and the blood outpoured, they come to meet him in order that by communion with him they may be filled with his spirit and inspired to suffer with him and so help to save and lift their comrades out of darkness into light. Kennedy issues what is both an encouragement and a sobering challenge for anyone who wants to be a follower of Jesus. He says that the communion service is the heart, the blood centre of the great army of men and women who, having seen and loved God in Christ, are resolved to fight for and suffer with him. 
unto death and beyond it. It is the appointed means and method of meeting God. We are ready, Kennedy says, to have our bodies broken and our blood shed in the great Christian warfare against wrong. And we come for the refreshing of our spirits that we may not shrink. That bread is the ration of a fearless, fiercely fighting army. That wine is the stirrup cup of a band of knights who ride out to an endless war. Salvation is not a matter of the future, but of the present. Eternal life is here and now. And unless it is here and now, it cannot be after. I invite you to share in Studdard Kennedy's vision of the suffering God revealed in Jesus Christ and the necessary truth of it. In him there lies the solution of our problems and the inspiration of our lives, Kennedy wrote. He can bear all the weight we can throw on him and he does bear it because he is God. I go back to the cross with the empty tomb behind it and there I find a satisfying and inspiring answer to it all. Pretty amazing reflections. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.